Welcome to the StockMentor.com studios here in the Black Hills of South Dakota. I'm your stock mentor, Brian Johnson, making professional trading simple. And uh, kind of a, did have a good start to the day. I shouldn't say good start. We did have a uh, start up to the day. And it looked like we were going to potentially form that head and shoulders pattern I had told you about right here. Shoulder, here, head, here, shoulder. And yeah, I couldn't break it. So at least we have one formed. Do we get points? We'll find out on Monday. Um, but, you know, a lot of what we had kind of talked about yesterday was that wait for the more major levels to be broken. Um, that was uh, kind of something I was uh, adamant about yesterday. And this is why we had, like I said, a gap up to start the day, come back, and look where we finished. Now, yesterday we were down here about, you know, 10, 800, whatever. And that's about where we were at uh, by the end of the day. Around this 10, 850 mark is probably a more accurate uh, label for over here. 10, 850 and just held. So no real confirmation, unfortunately, today from the bears. Had a decent move down. Nice big red candles, had a good start to things, but as I had brought out, right back into support, and look at that, the support actually held today. So we will wait until next week to see if this formation actually plays itself out in the sense of a head and shoulders pattern. The formation is in place, looks pretty on a 60 minute, but uh, whether or not it'll break is, is a completely different monster. Mondays have been, technically, very good to the markets. Very few Mondays uh, have been going down lately. Most of them are flat to up in most cases. A lot of times, these more obvious head and shoulders patterns do not play out the way you suspect they will. So be watching that next week. I'm going to keep my eye closely on this lower channel line. So we'll talk more about that this weekend, but something to keep in mind. So flat day to the markets today and holding this support, meaning what? That's right. Nothing's really broken from the bull standpoint. The daily, yeah, we're kind of cheating our way outside of this blue line right now. So I'm still going to call it. We're on or at this blue line. We saw a break in the SPX yesterday. And now maybe we're seeing a break in some of the other indices here today. But as this is playing out, uh, it, it just still looks like another high base for me uh, with a 10.850 to 10.900 type of a range going on here. So uh, once again, I'll look at it more this weekend. We'll talk more about it on Sunday. But still nothing to be obviously overly bearish about. Want to see a close down here before we start talking more about the bear side. NDX on a 60-minute also coming down and breaking this channel line, closing here, but finding support right at that 1945 level that I mentioned yesterday, and closing above it today. So whether or not it's going to fall is obviously up uh, we could probably put in a head and shoulders here this would be a shoulder this would be a head over here is a right shoulder I just need to move that line up ever so slightly so put it up there around the 1950 area that would also give us a potential head and shoulders pattern 60 minute chart and the X from a daily standpoint moving sideways that's all that is it's another high base formation until we have a more confirmed break to the downside most of the week was that way here we have the NDX on a weekly. Now we can finally look and see that. What was my overhead resistance? 1960 to 1970. Yes, and we held. We did get above it, but we did not close above it, more importantly. So we will still be watching this overhead resistance level coming into next week to see if it's going to actually hold. Starting to get pretty stretched up here. Obviously, a pullback has been in the works for many, many weeks. But until we get more major breaks, we are not getting super bearish yet. SPX on a 60 minute. This just looks like now a uh, pullback. Just another bull pullback. Now we did see a little bit of a breakdown below here, kind of dipping below some of these previous lows here. And we are below the 50 period moving average, the 20 period below this channel line. So we do have something starting from the bear side, but it's certainly nothing that would prompt me to want to throw a bunch of money at the short side. I have a small short position open that I took yesterday, but it's so small, it's uh, barely recognizable to most traders. <laughs> it's so small. However, I'm gonna, I did hold over the weekend because there's not a lot of risk on the table, and I just still don't think at this point we're going to see large gaps uh, to the upside um, considering what we've already been through all month long. Here is the break of that blue line, and guess what? 
it just looks like a bull pullback here. My most logical plan now would be to hold this other blue line coming through here, then to move back up and guess what? Yep, uh, retest the underside of this blue line, which is going to put us right up near 1185-ish probably by the time we get up there to the 1200 area. Wow, as we slowly creep our way towards 1225, which is the bigger 200-week moving average. Uh, this is just above us, so whether we'll get there without a pullback, I don't know. Uh, just have to wait till early next week to find out. We'll diagnose it more this week. I'm not going to spend a lot of time on it today. VIX on a daily, now down today, ever so slightly. Markets were flat. And VIX was still down 3.4%. So as I mentioned yesterday, yes, we are having a little bit of a run up, but not a big deal. No fear in the markets. And according to the weekly, you can see we held that overhead resistance very well. So no reason to get super bearish because even the VIX isn't telling us to get bearish at this point. It's still holding very low and in between these ranges. If we get breaks up and above that area, then maybe we got uh, a bigger move coming uh, in the future, but for the time being, still very, very much controlled down here on the VIX. Apple on a 60-minute up four dollars today.